my dear friends are you worried about your science subject i am here to clarify your doubts in science chapters now let us deal about the chapter electromagnetic induction in 1819 oil stead for the first time demonstrated that an electric current flowing through a conductor creates a magnetic field similarly michael faraday was able to show that a magnet field applied near a conductor creates an electric field in it these discoveries led to the invention of electric motor generators and led to industrialization let us know about faraday's coil and magnet experiment requirement a cardboard cylinder insulated copper wire galvanometer and a bar magnet construction wound a long insulated copper wire around the cardboard cylinder the free ends of the copper wire are connected to a sensitive galvanometer any deflection in the galvanometer shows the presence of electric current procedure push the bar magnet n and s into the cylinder the deflector of the galvanometer deflects in one direction when the magnet is pulled back the deflector deflects in the opposite direction that is when there is a relative motion between bar magnet and coil there induces an emf in the circuit thus we can define electromagnetic induction as when a magnetic field linking with the conductor changes and emf is produced in the circuit this phenomena is called electromagnetic induction the emf so produced is called induced emf and the current which flows is called induced current points to be observed during the experiment when the number of turns of coil increases emf also increases if the bar magnet kept stationary and the coil is moved the same results were observed more the strength of the magnet more will be the induced emf when the magnet is at rest with respect to coil no deflection or no emf is produced before michael faraday an american scientist joseph henry was independently discovered electromagnetic induction factors affecting induced emf in a circuit the induced emf increases with number 1 increase in number of turns of coil increase in the rate of change of magnetic field linking with the coil increases with the strength of the magnet faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction based on the above experiments conducted by him faraday derived the following laws the first law when the magnetic field linking with the conductor changes it produces emf in the conductor second law the induced emf is directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic field linking with the conductor now let us deal about fleming's rules fleming's right hand rule it is also called as dynamo or generator rule it gives the direct relationship between magnetic field induced emf and motion of the conductor arrange the thumb finger four finger and central finger 
of the right hand mutually perpendicular to each other then thumb indicates the direction of motion of conductor four finger indicates direction of magnetic field and central finger indicates the direction of induced emf dynamo dynamo is a device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy they are of two types namely ac dynamo and dc dynamo first one ac dynamo a device which converts mechanical energy into alternating current called alternating current dynamo or ac dynamo principle of dynamo when a magnetic field linking with the conductor changes an emf is induced in the conductor now let us deal the construction of an ac dynamo take a strong horse shoe magnet n and s keep the rectangular copper coil a b c d on a soft iron core with slip rings called armature the end of the rectangular coil a b c d d connected to slip ring r1 similarly the end a is connected to the slip ring r2 carbon brushes b1 and b2 are connected to r1 and r2 respectively the brushes are connected externally to a load l working when the armature is made to rotate in anti clockwise direction the magnetic field linked with the coil changes this induces an electric current in the coil a b c d during the first half of the rotation the current flows along a b c d d is connected to ring r1 which is in contact with the brush b1 therefore the current flows in the external circuit through b1 to b2 during the second half of the rotation the current is induced in the coil along d c b a therefore the current flows from b2 to b1 it is found that the direction of induced current in the external circuit keeps reversing every half a cycle such a current is called alternating current or ac current a dynamo that produces an alternating current is called alternating current dynamo or ac dynamo dc dynamo a device which converts mechanical energy into direct current using the principle of electromagnetic induction is called a dc dynamo or direct current dynamo construction the construction of a dc dynamo is similar to that of an ac dynamo but instead of full rings in ac dynamo two halves s1 and s2 of the copper ring are used in dc dynamo these are called split rings working when the armature is made to rotate in the anti clockwise direction the magnetic field linked with the coil changes this induces an emf in the coil in the direction a b c d during the first half of the rotation of the armature the current flows along a b c d as d is connected to split ring s2 
and S2 is connected to the brush B2. The current flows through the load in the external circuit from B2 to B1. During the second half of the rotation of the coil, the current is induced in the coil in the direction D, C, B, A. As the split half S2 now comes in contact with B1, the current flows in the external circuit in the same direction from B2 to B1. This type of current is called direct current that is the current which flows in the external circuit in the same direction and the dynamo which produces direct current is called as direct current dynamo or DC dynamo. After the completion of every half a rotation of the coil, the split halves change contact from one brush to another. This helps the current to flow in the external circuit in the same direction. Such devices are called commutators. Let us see the graphical representation of alternating current and direct current. John Ambrose Fleming, a British electrical engineer, postulated this principle that is Fleming's left hand rule or motor rule. The principle of this motor rule is a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a mechanical force. Thus, Fleming's left hand rule gives the relationship between the direction of electric current, magnetic field and the mechanical force acting on the conductor. Arrange the main finger, forefinger and the central finger of the left hand in such a way that they are perpendicular to one another. If the forefinger indicates the magnetic field, the central fin finger indicates the direction of electric current then the main finger indicates the direction of mechanical force acting on the conductor. The principle of electric motor can be explained with a simple experiment. Arrange an aluminium rod of about 1 or 2 mm thick is kept in between the two poles N and S of a powerful magnet. With a switch and a DC source connected in the circuit, when the switch is made on, due to the mechanical force, the rod is pushed away when the terminals of the cell are changed. The rod is pulled inside. This shows that a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field experiences a mechanical force. Electric motor A device which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy is called electric motor. They are of two types AC motors and DC motors. Let us now deal about DC motor. Construction A simple DC motor consists of a rectangular coil of insulated copper wire A, B, C, D mounted in between the poles N and S of a powerful horseshoe magnet. The free ends of the coil are connected to two two halves S1 and S2 of a split ring. The conducting brushes B1 and B2 are in contact with S1 and S2 respectively. These brushes are connected to the poles of a battery. Working Let an electric current be passed through the coil say 
in the direction A B C D mechanical force acts on its limbs in opposite direction by applying motor rule the direction of mechanical force can be found the force acting on AB and CD form a couple therefore the coil begins to rotate about its axis when the coil completes the first half of the rotation S1 comes in contact with B2 and S2 comes in contact with B1 now electric current flows in the coil in the direction DCBA due to the effect of the couple formed the coil continues to rotate in the same direction in this way a motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy since it works on direct current it is called as direct current motor a couple two equal and parallel forces acting on a body at two different points in opposite directions constitute a couple a couple acting on a body tends to rotate the body or actually rotates the body an external circuit can be defined as the brushes and the connecting wires together with the load forms external circuit